Hi everybody, it's uh, Jerry here again, and today we're going to talk about uh, the hooks I use when I surf shark fishing. And uh, I think it's a good time to do this because uh, most years we have a, a decent population of sharks, and actually uh, shark fishing is one of the, the funnest things that I, I like to do out there on the surf. You know, we do a lot of things here, all kinds of fishing and stuff, but. We're just going to have a discussion on the hooks that we're going to use today. So I'm just going to show you uh, what I use and uh, a little slight modification I do to, I believe, improve them and uh, briefly how I do it. Okay, so uh, let's get on with it. Now you can see clearly that um, the hooks that I, I prefer to use are the, I use a mustache. These are, that's probably the only shark hook that I use. It's the at the 39960 I, I believe it is and I use four different sizes. Um, all, actually through, through the year um, you can see four different sizes. I have them lined up. I wrote down the numbers for you too so you can get a good idea of what I'm doing. And one thing I want to talk about is the gap. That is the distance between your hook shank and uh, your, your point you can see on the top and the bottom the top line is not gapped the bottom line is gapped it, it, it's very important uh, I believe and it's going to make it more effective while you're fishing that you gap these hooks this one's ungapped you could see my thumbnail here it's rather close quarters but uh, this is the gapped hook and you can see I can almost get two thumbs in there between that hook point and the hook shank and that's a 12 -0 hook. Mm, real quick, the circle hook, the sizes sometimes appear bigger than a, a, a J hook. Um, J hooks would be a bit bigger than these so you scale these down two sizes and you have J hook sizes so um, the circles uh, run a little smaller than J hooks and every manufacturer is going to have a different numbering system and you can use any hooks. This is just the, the brand that um, I've just been using these for years so this is what I use. So real briefly I'm, I'm just going to show you how I gap the hooks. Get that in the vise um, and get a vise grip and just uh, attach it and I work mine cold. Um, these are, you know, you might want to heat up the shank a little bit on the vise, but I just work them cold, but I slowly back and forth. As you can see, um, please don't excuse the mess. I like it like this. But, uh, yeah, just slowly back that hook shank back and forth, and it'll, it'll open up. And you can see I'm going to undo it in the vise, and we got a wider, wider gap now. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Now, real briefly, if I could pick one size of the hook, or one hook size, I guess I would pick the 14-0, you know. But the 15-0 is also good. If, if you're just going to do shark, shark, shark fishing, um, definitely this is good. Make sure you gap it again. I'm just showing you the top one. This is the gapped one. But definitely gap those hooks. It's very important. One thing you take out of this video is, is to um, make sure you gap these hooks if you use these ones. A lot of the ones you buy prepackaged do come gapped. They cost a bit more, and these are relatively inexpensive, that's why I like them. But this is the 14-0, this is the size I use, this will take on just about any of the local sharks that we fish for. And uh, real briefly, this is the biggest I will use, it's a 16-0, and actually I use it quite often. When there's a fast, hard bite, I go with a bigger hook, always. Always a bigger hook on a fast, uh, aggressive bite, because... I want to fish through those smaller fish. They will take this. You will hook up. You will catch little sand sharks with this giant hook. I got pictures I can show you. But uh, definitely um, uh, make sure that you carry a variety. And I will start with the smaller 12 hook if I'm probing around in a day. It's an excellent size, say, for striped bass, bluefish, um, even sea robins. You'll catch a slew and a ton of sea robins on the 12 hook as well as the 14, believe it or not, and 15 oh, I've caught some small fish on big hooks. But uh, always skill it up. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure you subscribe, like, uh, dislike, and uh, fish your way. We'll see you next time.
hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was actually really fun making this. Uh, I just took the time to talk to you guys. I have another couple videos I want to do uh, relatively soon. And uh, just make sure you get out there, get on the sand, and enjoy yourself. And thanks again for watching. Fisher Way.